Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Governing Council, it is my pleasure to welcome you, our distinguished graduates, parents, alumni, stakeholders, and the general public to the 56th Congregation Ceremony of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumase. We have gathered here in this virtual space to crown and celebrate the academic achievements of our distinguished graduates. Shall we please now stand by for the national anthem of the Republic of Ghana? I invite the college chaplain of KNUSC, Reverend Father Dr. Anthony Na, to say the opening prayer. Let us pray. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you and we thank you for the gift of our lives, for this day, for this moment, and most of all, for this noble and prestigious university Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, and for our dear graduates. We thank you for making it possible for us to have this congregation ceremony to acknowledge the respective qualifications of our dear graduates. We thank you for gathering all of us to witness this great day in the life of these, your sons and daughters. We thank you for the leadership, the management and staff of this noble and prestigious university. You have protected guided and kept all of them safe and sound in mind and in body to this day. Continue to grant them the knowledge, the wisdom and strength and favors, the peace of mind and body, and help us to continue to offer quality, formation and education to young adults for themselves, for their families, their communities, the nation and the entire world. We thank you for 70 years of existence and global impact and a new era for a renewed focus. We are grateful to you for the activities to celebrate our success thus far. Lord, we pray you to bless us in our celebrations and increase our desire to do more for humanity. We thank you for the opportunity granted these, our graduates, to educate themselves and to prepare themselves for their future. This is indeed the day you have made for them. You have seen them through the challenges and fatigue of academic life and you have crowned their effort with success. And because of this, Lord, we say we are grateful to you. We also thank you for the life of our stakeholders, our benefactors, sponsors, friends, and developing partners, and all who have had a hand in their training and formation. May they continue to experience your loving care in their lives. Lord, we pray in a very special way, entrusting this graduation ceremony into your watchful care. Lord, Send your Holy Spirit into our midst and bless us with a fruitful, successful, and inspiring graduation ceremony. May our joy be complete in you. Continue to shower your blessings upon each and every one of us who is witnessing this memorable day. May we know and experience the daily protection, guidance, and providence. We make all these prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. It is my honor to welcome the chairman of the Governing Council of KNUST, Ambassador Nana Ifa Appenting, to constitute the assembly. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the Governing Council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Appenting, declare this assembly duly constituted. 
Shall we please stand to sing the university anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing? of Council, with your permission, may I introduce the valedictorian for the College of Agric and Natural Resources. The valedictorian pursued BSc Agribusiness program in the Faculty of Agriculture with a hoping cumulated weighted average of 80.37. He emerged as the overall best student out of the 896 graduates from the college. Ladies and gentlemen, with a resounding round of applause, kindly join me to welcome Mr. Samuel Ousu Efriye, our valedictorian. The Chairman of Council, Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, Provost of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, the Registrar of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, members of convocation, deans, colleague graduating students, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. I am incredibly honored and happy on this momentous occasion to make the valedictory speech on behalf of my fellow graduates. All graduates deserve my sincere congratulations for a job well done. Many of you will attest to the hectic campus life and the arduous work of earning a graduate degree from the Premier Science and Technology University in Ghana. I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to all of my graduating classmates for achieving a significant turning point in our academic careers. Many of us entered this diverse college a number of years ago, full of anticipation and excitement. All of the experiences and news that our friends, family, and social media had shared with us served help us to settle us in an environment different from what we knew and were used to. If someone had asked us specifically what caused the feeling, we would have been speechless. 
As at now, we can confidently claim that our goals have been met. Graduating successfully with our degrees and the necessary experiences to run our own lives and institutions are reasons enough to celebrate this joyous moment. It has been a wonderful experience on campus, both academically and socially. Without this institution, it would have not been possible to develop our virtues such as determination, self-assurance, purposefulness, knowledge, practical skills, and sense of direction. God has made this possible through his loving kindness. Regardless of the challenging moments that brought us to a point where we sometimes considered giving up, we still kept going and forged on. Indeed, we have come a long way to be here. At a point, we either felt unsatisfied with the professions we had chosen or lost hope for the future. We had no idea, though, that we were headed for our own unique success. It provides us with a reason to rejoice today. There were times we had to embrace financial constraints, sleepless nights, fatigue, serial crises, alignment, strikes, and of course, the incidents of the COVID-19. Education to some of us was really a challenging knowledge acquiring process to say the least, and we do not underestimate the other ways we had to attend lectures. Nonetheless, the experience we have obtained in this very institution has fully broke this wall and made us the preferred choice of human resource and manpower base needed by any nation on earth. To conclude, I would like to encourage my fellow colleagues that Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion found playing small and settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. I have discovered that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risk. The point is every graduate has the talent to succeed, but very few have the guts to take risk in order to achieve the expected results. If you do not take risk, then you are not even trying, and then if you are not even trying, then you are not even living. In order to get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. So set new targets and goals, take risks, achieve them, and break records. Henry Ford said, if you think you can or you cannot, then you are right. We are indeed a product of our own choices, and the choice we make determines our end goal. And so let us go out there to take calculated risks and achieve greater heights in order to make ourselves, our families, our mother and country proud. Long live the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. Long live Kwame Nkuma University of Science and Technology. And then long live our motherland, Ghana. Thank you. Council of Chairman, with your permission, may I introduce the motivational speaker for this session of the congregation featuring the College of Agric and Natural Resources. Our distinguished motivational speaker is an illustrious human resource and leadership executive. He pursued a BSc in Natural Resources Management, Forestry Option, in our prestigious Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. It is pleasing to note that our speaker is an accomplished alumnus of our great and noble university who had the singular privilege to serve as the president of the Student Representative Council, SRC, between 2000 and 2001. Our distinguished speaker applied his extensive knowledge on forestry and has served in different capacities, including being the director at the moment at the Forestry Commission Training Center. Through dint of hard work and leadership abilities, our motivational speaker was spotted by the then government to serve as Deputy Ashanti Regional Minister in April 2016 to June 2017. He also acted as the Municipal Chief Executive from May 2016 to January 2017 at the Josu Drabi Municipal Assembly. The motivational speaker has consulted for renowned institutions, including being the lead consultant for the World Bank Group in Washington, D.C. For this position, his main responsibilities included providing executive leadership coaching and mentoring to the Sudan Red Plus coordinator, Dr. Saida Khalil, to support her deliver her mandate. He also led as the key consultant for Alika Consulting Limited from January 2017 to August 2019. He also provided strategic advice and human resource audit and organizational assessment to Madison Pine clients and handles Madison Pine's HR consultancy function. The wealth of his knowledge, experience, and exposure 
It's extended to the work of other institutions by serving on their boards and committees and holding other positions. Key among them include being the founder and president of Young Professionals and Youth Coalition from January 2017 to date. Nana Chair, it is delighted to note that our motivational speaker is also um, the author for two books. The first is titled Transformational Leadership, Walking the Talk. The second book is titled You Are a Leader, Strategies of Unearthing the Leader in You. And now, Nana Chairman, I am delighted to announce to you our motivational speaker, Mr. Andy Osei Uka. Nana Chairman, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Rita Akusia Dixon, the Pro Vice Chancellor, our Provost of College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Deans of Faculties present here, invited guests, distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I know that coming here this morning to KNUST at the Great Hall and at this auspicious occasion of graduation ceremony is a dream come through. This is because I was once sitting right here as a graduate some 22 years ago, waiting to receive my degree in fulfillment of the four year program I pursue in natural resources management, forest and silviculture option. In fact, I dreamt of coming back here big one day and here I am, so dream big. To be honest, that time I didn't know what I was going to do what was in the world out there for me, and in fact, what the future held for me. Honestly, you feel unsure, uneasy, afraid, terrified, and agitated, thinking, am I going to be successful? Am I going to make it in life? Is there work for me out there? Am I going to be employed immediately, or am I going to join the Unemployment Graduate Association? These are all thoughts that come to your mind. And as you are graduating today, you are going through saying and looking for answers. I want to say I came here to assure you that there's hope out there and the future is bright for you. You are fortunate. You are graduating today from one of the best universities in the world, KNUST to be precise. Therefore, you are set to succeed and to make it big in life. This alone it's a huge assurance. You will one day be standing here addressing congregation like I'm doing right now if you follow the tips I'm going to share with you today. Throughout my university education, I lost two most precious people in my life. My father who was taking care of me and that same time my mother was down with a mild stroke. I lost that mother. I lost my mom painfully. Therefore, on my graduation day, you can imagine these two most important personalities were not there. There was no hope. And I thought I couldn't make any meaningful life afterwards. I came here to challenge you and give you three practical tips that I believe they can help you in your journey of life. Number one, know that you are a leader. I said that. Know that you are a leader. Rally, you are a leader. Know and believe in yourself that you are born to lead and to bring transformation to your society. There are some ingredients you need to have in place and that's what I want to share quickly with you. One, have a clear vision of what you want to do. Your personal goal from here as you are graduating, where you want to go, how you want to go there, get it. If you want to work at the Forestry Commission, GMPC, be a politician, whatever. Have that clear goal and follow it. The next point is focus. This focus comes from stemming from the vision. If you have your vision, you focus all your energies towards that. Concentrate on that. And the third point is what I like most, which is not happening these days. Confidence. Have the confidence. Believe in yourself that you have something. Believe in the abilities that you have, that you have whatever it takes to make it. So have that confidence. You are not empty. Having gone through KNUST, you are not empty. So have the confidence. 
And the fourth point is have the courage to step out into the world of work. Go out there with the confidence to, it takes to create something. Take risk. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. And I say, if you fail, fail forward. What I mean by that is learn from the mistake of your failure and move forward. It doesn't end there. And above all, make sure you, have, you are passionate about what you're doing and you are committed to the goals. It's results you are looking. It's not effort. At the end of the day, you must make it and you have to be passionate about that. And I'll quote here, the subject of leadership, you must be very much interested in the subject of leadership. Here, I'll quote one of my mentors, Dr. John C. Maxwell. And he said that everything rises and fall on leadership. Everything rises and fall on leadership. Everything is everything, including your career, your job, your employment. So leadership is the key. The second point, I talked to you three points, but the main second point is know that success or life is about service. If you want to be successful, be ready to offer yourself for service. Service leads to influence and influence leads to leadership. Therefore, service is leadership. If you are to serve in any form and any opportunity that comes your way, please serve well. Service leads you to your job right from your national service to your permanent engagement. Serve with integrity and honesty and to do things right all the time. Learn to do things right all the time. Not sometime, but all the time. Don't pretend to be working, but truly work. If you are given any job, don't pretend that you are working. Truly work. Be ready to volunteer. Take unpaid and free jobs after national service. Internship, apprenticeship, attachment program, community service. All these will give you some employability skills and some golden opportunities to meet job owners and destiny helpers. Your attitude to work and service must be exceptional. The problem out there in the world is the attitude of our young people these days. So your attitude to work and service must be exceptional. The world of work we are going through now, employers think that young people and graduates these days are not good or have wrong attitudinal problems and lazy behavior. Therefore, you must go out there and demonstrate good work ethics, good behavior, and good culture of excellence in anything that you do. Approach any work or opportunity given you with seriousness and professionalism. If you do this, I can assure you, getting employment and creating all your own employment or job will be smooth and faster. In your service to mankind, don't underestimate the power of relationship. These days we call that networking. It is said that your network is your net worth. Therefore, value these friends, schoolmates, colleagues, colleagues, families, and acquaintances that may come across your way. Cherish and feel the relationship. It will result to facilitating your success and your future. In your service, be ready to apply the knowledge and the skills you have acquired here from KNUST. That is what I call the application of relevant knowledge and skills. It's called wisdom. Use wisdom in service. Third point, which might also be a major point, is understand that life or success about the God factor. The God factor. Know that you cannot rule out the power of God in determining destinies. Therefore, resolve to seeking the face of God through prayers. The Bible says the fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. Trust in the divine hand of God. Believe that God created you to rule in the midst of your enemies. That indicates and shows that there are going to be difficulties, setbacks, obstacles, challenges, frustrations, failures, enemies both within and without. But in all this, you have been created to lead, rule, and have dominion over everything, including jobs and careers and life. Your future is bright. Rise up and go for it. On this note, may I congratulate the super class of 2022 KNUST College of Agriculture and Natural Resources and urge you all to be resolute to set standards for yourself and Africa.
And I'll end by quoting Nora Ephron, who says that your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. I repeat, your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. I thank you for your attention and I wish you well in your endeavors. Thank you once again. Structure so on chain idea. A fidriano, no, the other sort of member of a day was in Anna Obano and passing Obano and Yadia. There is no royal road to geometry. Mathematics in your decision. I just hear, yeah, I just hear, yeah, oh, 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 oh,
Mohamed da Fomo. Cobra o Bafá da Cabra. Foi de um dia de Cacra Cora da Boto. E vim na banca. O Coyão Costa vou para você. Se quer uma mão, o mal que eu fiz assim, não atira não. Você, I'm sorry. O amante. Na o qual, não irei você a ser cobra. O da fui, o anjo de mar. I just say, yeah, I just say, yo, boy. I just say, yeah, I'm with you. I just say, yeah, yeah. Thank you. In our congregation ceremonies, the vice chancellor presents her address to the assembly. Chairman of council, with your permission, I invite the vice chancellor, Professor Mrs. Rita Akosia Dixon, to present her address to the assembly. Chairman and members of council, vice chancellor, pro vice chancellor, past vice chancellors and pro vice chancellors, registrar, provosts, deans and directors, heads of departments, nananum, members of convocation, representatives of our affiliate institutions, alumni, senior and junior staff, graduating class of 2022, parents and guardians, members of the press, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure on behalf of the chairman and members of the University Council, the vice chancellor, management and the entire staff of this great institution to warmly welcome all our graduates and esteemed guests who are with us this morning through the virtual platform to the first day of our 56th congregation ceremony. Indeed, you all agree with me that today's ceremony is deemed significant as it marks one of the major events of our 70th anniversary celebrations, which commenced in October 2021. We continue to extend an invitation to all our stakeholders and well wishers to celebrate this milestone with us as we prepare to climax it sometime this year. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, Graduation ceremonies are occasions for the conferment of degrees on deserving students who have met the academic requirements of KNUST. In this direction, we have gathered via the virtual platform this morning to confer degrees on our deserving graduates of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources who have successfully completed their various programs of study. Over the years, the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources has dutifully discharged its core mandate of promoting agricultural productivity, rural development, and the sustainable management of natural resources through teaching, entrepreneurship training, research, and extension of knowledge for the sustainable development of Ghana, Africa, and the wider global community. Strategically, the college is focused on enhancing the entrepreneurial skills, knowledge, and the promotion of good attitudes of her students through the periodic review of curricula to make them more entrepreneurship-oriented in response to industry dynamics, the introduction of new industry-oriented competency-based programs, as well as an increased focus on industry-based internship programs for students' experiential training. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources is presenting a total of 862 graduates. Of this number, 84 are graduating with first-class honors, 485 with second-class upper division, 289 with second-class lower division, and four with pass. For the 2021-2022 academic year, the overall best graduating student in the college comes from the Department of Agricultural Economics agribusiness and extension in the Faculty of Agriculture. He is Mr. Samuel Efriyewusu, 
with a CWA of 80.37. He is also the valedictorian of our session of this year's congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 2021-2022 academic year, student enrollment in the college increased by 13% compared to the previous academic year. This was made up of 7,039 undergraduates and 517 postgraduates, giving a total student population of 7,556. In terms of staff numbers, 12 new lecturers were appointed to augment the teaching staff strength in the college. To this, we are very grateful to the government for these additional hands, which will go a long way to ease the stress on our staff and also improve the STR. During the 2021-2022 academic year, the college also recorded a significant number of initiatives. These included the partnership between the Department of Agricultural Economics, Agribusiness and Extension, and Yedent Practical Entrepreneurship Center Limited for the introduction of a certificate program in agribusiness and food entrepreneurship. The hosting of the KIC Agritech Challenge which is a collaboration between KNUST and the Cosmos Innovation Center, the establishment of the Young Consultant Development Program by BED, which seeks to introduce early career graduates to research-driven consulting in the rural and international development sectors, the partnership between the college and Exim Bank and Agri-Impact Consult for the establishment of an orange flesh sweet potato factory at KNUST to reduce flour imports and scale up existing product development technology in the university, and the establishment of an additional 20 greenhouses for the upscaling of the production of quality and hygienic vegetables at KNUST. The college is very grateful to the partners for these initiatives, which will greatly enhance the entrepreneurial drive of our students, as well as provide significant revenue to increase the college's IGF. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I wish to express our most sincere appreciation to our stakeholders who have been of immense support to the college. They are the various ministries and the agencies, the MMDAs, NGOs, our donor partners, both local and international, which include USAID, EU, Danida, DAD, IITA, NORAD, UNEP, GEF, ENI, DFID, to mention a few. To you all, we are very grateful. Permit me to also appreciate and thank all parents, guardians, and benefactors of our graduates. If our graduates stand tall today, we know they are standing on your sweat and toil. Your unflinching support has propelled them to this great height, and may your sacrifices be rewarded. To my able staff of the college, I'm truly grateful for your support, cooperation, and encouragement. It was through your sacrifices and efforts that we were able to bring the academic year to a successful end. Bravo for your dedication and commitment. Before I conclude, may I share some words of advice with my proud graduates. You are being celebrated today because you soldered on to achieve this feat despite the hassles and the stresses you may have gone through during your training. It is now up to you to make maximum use of the acquired knowledge and skills for the betterment of society. Do not forget that as the world continues to change, so you are required to continue to build on your skills and knowledge in order to remain relevant to society. I encourage you to join the KNUST Alumni Association and entreat you to be active members of this global fraternity. It is a great platform for networking and mobilization of resources to support your alma mater, the KNUST. Finally, as we enter the world of work and chart a new path for your lives, may the countenance of the good Lord be upon you. May he direct your path to unique opportunities, exploits, and discoveries. May he be gracious to you now and forever. Once again, I thank you for making time to join us on the virtual space and for your audience. Thank you. The most exciting part of our graduation ceremony is the presentation of graduates for the award of respective degrees. 
Chairman of Council, with your permission, I welcome our registrar, Mr. Andrew Squissy Boatin, to initiate conferment proceedings. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call on the Provost, College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, to present the candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the award of degrees to be admitted to the said degrees. Chairman of Council, I have the honor and privilege to present to you graduates of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, all of whom have fulfilled the requirements for the award of a degree to be admitted to the said degrees. By the powers conferred on me as Chairman of the Governing Council of this University, I, Ambassador Nane Farpintin, formally admit you to the respective degrees of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. Graduates, Aiko. College of Agric and Natural Resources, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture, First Class. Abdul Razak Sadiq Wumpini. Adam Hamidu Musa. Ejiri Francis. Akwaso Benedicta SNM. Arthur Emmanuel, Esiedu Entry Michael, Bimpong Gifti Kwachua, Eze John Okudri, Quenin Esiedu Eugene, Kwateng Prince, Menu Nyantechi Joseph, Intiamwa Alexander, Owusu Emmanuel, Owusu Jima Kenneth, Second Class Upper Division Abdul Kasim Latif Abwaji Kweku Adakwai Daniel Adai Reta Ayeki Ejei Kofuwa Nana Ejewa Aduma Justice Owusu Mensa Edu Jem Vicent Edu Sai Francisca Ama Agbeko Doreen SNM Ejabin Boche Henry Ejare Anthony Akuokun Ajemai Daniel Ahono William Kwesi Akese Ransford Gottfried Ama Adolf Ashite Amwa Dakwa Seth Amokwando Jedida Ando Solomon and Lode Bismarck as Samoa Henry Tamponsa Asari Dabora Asari Ishmael Jr. Asigbe Bernard Bati Sharif Bwedi Jemfi Shadrach Buama Ansu Vanessa Buaten Elma Ofosu Bwate Mavis, Bakman Rigobert Adotei, Dekagbe Sefa Senanu, Joleto Abednego Niofei, Jetuya Brafo Martha, Kudeji Samuel Kwesi, Kumado Ruth, Kwache Daniela, Mensa David, Mreku Nanakofi, Na Esther Inti Yabua Michael Nyama Rahel Fusua Okanta Derek Okomesa Christian Sanka Osei Asibe Jesse Osei Teria Frederick Owusu Senisia Ruta Santua Owusu Desmond Rexen Nana Ampontia Saba Daniel Osabu Sejiafa Makafui Serafin Trev Hope Chum Innocent Wala Steven Yintimane Yabua Kwesi Yabua Nancy Ya Yirenchi Inokesi Edu Second class lower division. Abe Chris. 
e champon Dennis Owusu Adegbile Iki Mat Edusu Lawrence Kafui Ampa Sylvia Nanama Asante Vashti Asma John in Ketia Ba Nana Kwame Frempon Bedu Brago Precious Ba for Che Kwabana Dogbache Majori Sasu Isahaku Sumaya Mauli Stanley Mesa Besmak Nsafwa Gerald Opoku Opoku Prince Osai Tutu Agri Samson Osai Tutu Richard Owusu Amere College of Agric and Natural Resources Bachelor of Science Aquaculture and Water Resources Management First Class Eje Efia Claudia Second Class Upper Division Ajemai Nigel Osaikweku Ekuya Mwabwatin Philippa Alhassan Linda Anifatu Zarana Ansa Karen Edubia Awuku Mensa Nanakweku Bacha Veronica Thelma Boama Frimpong Nanenshira Kodo Zenobia Castell Owusu Mensa Janet Weafe Enoch Second Class Lower Division Esiama Anthony College of Agric and Natural Resources Bachelor of Science Agribusiness Management First Class Eduko Martin Luther King Akusaki Elsie Teiko Apia Godson Arthur Edward Asante David Atiemo Asante Otis Bafa Albert Mafu Fosu Godfred Nate Benes Nateki Sapon Stephen Zay Adam Gabriel Second Class Upper Division Eje Nancy Ajele Eje Simon Ajeni Mbwaten Stephen Afo Preprasin the Comfort Agbenyo Joshua Ajemai Prempe Nanakusi Ajemai Njia Armstrong Akuni Ampa Kweku Anoche Kwame Bafo Asari Apia Esther Irabna Asagre Andrew Ayelia Atuya Hene Ebe Obwama Awingura Peter Awini Bechi Emmanuel Boateng Owusu Penyi Kwabna Boateng Yeboa Andriana Donko Richard Imoro Lamratu Mohamed Bashirudin Okansi Karen Opombe Smack Wakpao Anita Second Class Lower Division Edupoku Travers Akpenyo Josiah Mawuto Kwesi Enin Day Edward Boache Samuel Nyakun James Boahini Opoku Ajemai Terry Opoku Samuel Ryans Osai Bempa Kingsley College of Agric and Natural Resources Bachelor of Science Agricultural Biotechnology First Class Agbola Salasi Paul Ejay Jacinta Dufie Akan Janahun Wisdom Anagli John Dahamai Gloria Frimpon Daniel 
na Paul Charles. Ofori Sandra Trewa. Ogo Ebenezer. Second class upper division. Aban Gordon. Aka Kwesi Wood. Anan Ruth Noko. Edu Pepra Esther. Arthur Isaac. Bedu Francis. Benua Bernard. Boatin Lawrence and Ponsa. Brobe Joshua Mensa. Kujo Thomas Charles. Duty Kerry Yenulom. Edufo Esi Kumiwa. Kalukins League Francis. Mbema Mohamed. Nkrumah Dennis. Ofosu Dokaz Abnasewa. Onuma David Nanayao. Opokwa Jemai Williams. Opon Asamwa Jr. Osman Isa. Owusu Kwame Osei. Parry A. B. Stephanie. Second Class Lower Division. Esie Du Felix Dakon. Entu Yamen Sakweku Amwa. Osaifin Otabel Silas. Chagli Esther Etonam. College of Agric and Natural Resources. Bachelor of Science. Natural Resources Management. First Class. Abu Bakar Senka Khadija. Agbito Rubin. Aholu Ophelia Ehonam. Blankson Zereth. Enyinfo Ando Gideon. Inusa Sandra Saudiatu. Kunedu Anani Chris. Mesa Samuel Abbas. Odoi Sesel Kweisi. Odro Kofi. Ofori Jemfi Michael. Paddy Daniel Awate. Kwansa Ofowa Emanuela. Second class upper division. Abdo Rauf Amidatu. Abwaje Anthony. Ajete Bisa Abigail Ajele. Edu Saipo Kupita. Afote Nancy Momo. Efuma Harriet. Ajay Henry. Ajekum Daniel. Akrofi Derek. Alhassan Fidaus Isaka. Alhassan Samira. Amankwa Portia. Amate Jeffrey. Asamwa Frimpon Amasewa. Asantua Esther Ajua. Asari Elvis. Esimaku Gabriel. Ayeba Richard Sarkodie. Ayinda Gifti. Eisi John Onyona Jr. Ba Enoch. Baglo Aisha Kenin. Bako Rabiatu Abdullahi. Banye Emanuela. Boache Ajima Elina. Boche Frida Na Mele. Dansu Ofosua Benes. Denchi Matoda. Esa Isaac Stanislav. Fianco Christabel Nusinho. Frempon Arthur Charles. Kajalo Lewis. Kankam Wedu Bernard. Kento Bernard. Kwante Karen Hapok Pokia. Kuma Sakina. Kwanchi Ima Pell. Nawu Bismarck Ago. Nate Nora Naki. Obenjima Mayfair. Oforia Man Ponsa. Ofori Sandra. 
o mane don ko estampo fwa o po kwe fuyye samwel o sa ki di on yameche o tu stefani lavi o usu prince derek kwe inu mensa florence kwa shi vector kwa te felicia sabla sandra Sapo on packings a free a Sasu Prince Appa Swaja or say Charlesworth Togba Cyril Obodai Waklachi Hubert Clenam Achi Imano Ola Youngs and Jennifer Second class lower division A champion Kwesi Yabua Edu Bwahin Jennifer Edu Teria Jennifer Ansa Ado Kevin Asa Godfred Boateng Marcus Dankwa Gabriel Dankwa Samuel Kayola Nyame Henry Intim William Owusu Ansa Juliet Owusu Frank in Tiedu Sefa Akosia Echampoma College of Agric and Natural Resources Bachelor of Science Forest Resources Technology First Class Aqua de Grafts Atiasi Gloria Holali Sintim Oreku Emmanuel Second Class Upper Division Abaka pa pa kweku. E champon Belinda ama. Aqua Faustina. E J entry Evans. Amwako entry Ebenezer. Anagbo Benjamin. Ankoma Gideon. Apia Kranche Lawrence. Asante Maxwell. Asante Prince Emmanuel. Boateng Theresa Danso Rodalin Dankwa Danso EJ Kelvin Jaba Emmanuel Osei Besimete Bright Komla Herman Nobo Edukwe Kalon Roda Kokro Tabi Edward Pankpari Ivy Hollis Poheme Masalina Ayele Mafo Helen Muse Solomon Kwamena Intim Dina Okai Na Lisa Osai Quinsta Owusua Owusu Jemfi Maxwell Painter Rahel Sanka Vanessa Kosia Asemaba Ya boy Ivy. Ya boy kweku obed. Second class lower division. Akon Benjamin Nana kweku. E J Kofi Steven. E free e Sapon. E Japon Emmanuel Charles Kwateng. Aha Patrick. A champion, Emmanuel Autry. A Siama Yaboa Desmond. Bwedi Emmanuel. Dan Kwakwe Kusafo. Mesa Stella. Opoku Hana. O Saikaleb Ya Opoku. Kwe Bright. College of Agric and Natural Resources. Bachelor of Science. Landscape Design and Management, First Class. Tuji Emanuela Mawuli. Second Class Upper Division. Adapolo Mumuni Sali Fubaba. Agojo Dokas Kafui Elik Bilim. Akomia Stephanie. Ampoma Ejei Kwabna. 
apresse Prince Charles. Baji Masamuela. Boache Ernestina Pokria. Juaza Edmond Salasi. Gavo Benes. Blezi Sylvester de la Quabna. Hansen Amonu Reginald. Second Class Lower Division. Bilal Kasim Batohila. Esel Imano Kojo Buedu. Techi Kelvin. Our graduates are the latest batch of KNUSC alumni. I hereby call on the president of KNUST chapter of the Global Alumni Association, Professor Caleb Frimpong, to administer the alumni oath. Please, when I say I, you also say I and add your name to it. Then you continue to say the rest of the statement after me. I, graduate of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumase, do hereby solemnly declare my membership in the KNUSD Alumni Association and voluntarily pledge to abide by its aims and tenets. I pledge to dedicate my loyalty and commitment to the development of KNUSD and to the services of the KNUST Alumni Association, wherever and whenever needed. So help me God. We've come to the end of this colorful 56th congregation ceremony of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. I respectfully invite the chairman of the governing council to dissolve the assembly. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the governing council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Pinti, declare this assembly duly dissolved. I invite Reverend Dr. J.W. Echampon, our Protestant chaplain, to say the closing prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We started this program in your name and by your grace, you have brought us to a successful end of it. And so we praise and bless your holy and mighty name. Even as we've ended this program, we pray, O oh God, commending our graduates before you, asking that you continue to fill them with your spirit, guide them on their way, Take them where you want them to be and use them to be good ambassadors of our great university and of yourself and our nation. We pray, O oh God, that you open doors for them so that this will be the beginning of greater things to happen to them, even as you use them to enhance human life. We praise and bless you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
Didn't we all start with that one dream? Many aspirations, some infeasible to redeem. We started on bare grounds and soon we were faced with mountains. When we got to the foot of the mountain, some couldn't climb up. Many fell. Through the sleepless nights, heartbreaks and even hunger, giving up was an easy option, but we had a dream. Jin Chekan remained our focus and finally today, we emerged victorious. The wait is over. No more photocopies, timetables and mashing. Into the world, we go. With more dreams ready to make history. Throwing our cups high with the hope of great adventures to come. For while many slept, we crawled. While they crawled, we stood. They began to stand. But now, we are the standard. We made it, friend. So join me as I graduate, you graduate, we graduate.